I'm William Lee Adams, a reporter at Times London Bureau, and I'm here with Jimmy Wales, the co-founder of Wikipedia. On January 15th, the online encyclopedia celebrated its 10th anniversary. So to mark the occasion, Jimmy is here to take readers' questions. Jimmy, welcome. Thanks for having me. And our first reader's question comes from Anushka Gol in Mumbai, India. She wants to know, how did Wikipedia come about? Well, Wikipedia was the second attempt uh, that I made at creating a free encyclopedia for everyone. Uh, the first attempt was called Newpedia, uh, which was a failure. Uh, and it was a failure because the model that we used to try to create Newpedia was very top-down, uh, very structured, very academic, and not very much fun for the people, uh, for the volunteers. Uh, and then I launched the wiki in uh, 2001, and it just grew and grew and grew. And Peter Heidner in Our House Denmark wants to know, has the creation of Wikipedia meant that the traditional encyclopedia is dead? Well, I'm not sure if it's dead, but it certainly is ailing. Um, although uh, it was ailing long before we came along. If you look uh, in the English language, for example, at uh, the, the situation with Britannica over the years, uh, Britannica took a very severe hit from Microsoft Encarta, which dramatically reduced the cost of the encyclopedia. Uh, and now that uh, we've been on the scene now for 10 years, uh, that's had another, obviously, a huge impact. And in different places around the world, uh, different encyclopedias have fared better or worse, uh, depending on their uh, business model and things like that. Carlos Castellar in Miami asks, when is censorship on entries acceptable? Well, I think we need to make a very careful distinction between censorship and editorial judgment. Uh, censorship is, uh, by definition, something that's done uh, by governments by force. Uh, it's forbidding the publication of certain knowledge. That's very different from editorial judgment, uh, in which case uh, there's a whole universe of editorial judgment that has to be made all the time. It, are these facts relevant? Are they uh, verifiable? Uh, is this just some trivial fluff, or is it something really important? Is it, was it reported on in uh, a blog no one's ever heard of, or was it reported in uh, Time Magazine or the New York Times or somewhere that we can count on as being reliable? So it's, it's always the case that every entry has to be subject to uh, thoughtful editorial judgment to decide what belongs in the entry or what doesn't belong in the entry, uh, but it's never the case that we should accept uh, censorship. If the need to rely on a corporate sponsor due to the lack of fundraising occurs, would you rely on the corporation, or would you shut down Wikipedia? What we've always said uh, is that we're opposed to having advertising in Wikipedia, but we've never said absolutely not, absolutely never, because we will do what it takes to keep Wikipedia alive. Uh, so, yeah, we wouldn't, we wouldn't shut down Wikipedia, but in the event that we did have some kind of a serious problem where the public was no longer willing to support us to the degree that we need, we would first look at cost-cutting measures. Uh, we would eventually have to look at putting some ads in some obscure part of the site to bring in a little bit of money or something like that. But it's not on the table at all. It's not something that we really uh, are considering or uh, even think is likely to happen. But no, we're not going to shut down Wikipedia. Wikipedia is important. What has been the most difficult problem you've encountered with Wikipedia? I would say one of the things that we've spent a lot of time uh, focusing on is policy relating to biographies of, of living people. Uh, that's one of the most critical pieces of Wikipedia because it's an area where it's really, really important that we be responsible, ethical, thoughtful. Uh, at the same time, we need to report on the facts of reality, such as they are. Uh, and so that's an area that's always uh, thorny, uh, but there's no magic solution to uh, either. It's something that requires every single day people to revisit and consider and ponder and think about what's the best thing to do in any given particular situation. Certainly in recent weeks, the WikiLeaks website has dominated news headlines. So Dennis Pope in Riverside, California asks, do you worry that Julian Assange is giving the term wiki a bad name? Well, the, the thing that we are trying to communicate to people is that we have absolutely nothing to do with WikiLeaks whatsoever. So whether people are fans of WikiLeaks or they hate WikiLeaks, um, well, you know, we, don't, we shouldn't get credit for it and we shouldn't get criticized for it. It has nothing to do with us. So uh, I think that's pretty important. Fortunately, um, we've been very pleased that in the media, generally, um, everyone understands this. Um, I've had a couple of uh, cringing moments where I see some head of state or something like this who <laughs> makes the error, and I'm like, oh, come on. You know? But uh, in general, people have gotten it right, and I think most people do understand uh, it has nothing to do with us. Now, this question probably has a bit of wishful thinking in it, but Dennis Cross in Dixon, Missouri asks, could I earn a college degree just from studying Wikipedia? It's a really interesting question. I mean, one of the things that it raises is 
this idea that formal education uh, and the total amount of formal education in society is more or less stable. Maybe it's increasing, decreasing in different ways and so on. We're seeing no really radical change. But what we are seeing is an incredibly radical change in the amount of informal learning that people are doing all over the world. Uh, people spend many, many endless hours studying a uh, random topic that takes their fancy uh, in a way that would have been really hard to do 30 years ago. Uh, you won't get a college degree from it though, uh, but you may get a lot, of, a lot of knowledge. On January 15th, Wikipedia celebrates its 10th anniversary. How are you going to celebrate? Well, we're having uh, celebrations all around the world. Uh, on the 15th, uh, we're going to do uh, individual community groups all around the world are going to be doing uh, parties, mini conferences, meetups. But then also on uh, January 13th, I'm having a, a party here in London uh, to celebrate. So I'm really looking forward to that. And we'll look forward to our invitation. Jimmy Wales, thanks so much.